Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a timeless message for the collective. Only take the messages that resonate with you, please and thank you. Let's see what's going on. What do we have? Swords, bottom of the deck, eight of cups, you know, it's funny. <laughs> I guess Mary J. Blige got a got a, a, a message today, but anyway. I just did another reading and a Mary J. Blige song came out and it was, uh, it was No Love Limit, but I was just listening to, before I started this one, um, Be Happy, and this one where she goes, all I really want is to be happy, thine of love is mine. It'll be so sweet. Yeah, but it's the all I really want is to be happy part for me. <laughs> so, with the Knight of Swords, well, together, right? Before I read them individually. Together, this is giving me like you left a situation because maybe you were seeing eye to eye with someone. Maybe some harsh words were exchanged with this swords because the swords is about uh, air air is communication so it could be maybe someone was immature because this is also a night too or maybe someone didn't communicate at all or was flighty with communication because nights represent movement so either way right i just feel like you left a situation due to either poor communication or not seeing eye to eye Something wasn't making you happy. Something had your uh, mind in movement. That's the best way I could put it with this night. Something had your mind like, okay, I got to go. And the Eight of Cups is already turning your back on something. So with the night, this is motion. So the Eight of Cups is you turning your back on whatever it was. So I'm gonna put some clarifiers, but yeah, that Mary J. Bly song. That could resonate with you. Or just that line. So let's clarify this Knight of Swords. <laughs> yeah, I swear, like. Sometimes my guys are a little immature. I don't know. <laughs> but why? I never really focus on his booty, right? <laughs> and I'm just like, damn, it's looking kind of big. Why? I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm just <laughs> I'm just hearing someone had to watch you go, right? Something like, damn. Like something about you leaving it, it felt heavy. <laughs> like a heavy bumper. Yeah, like something felt heavy bumper. So a night, you know, this is like what they depict it as a school bus here. Usually it's like a bike or a horse or whatever. But bumper, so some sort of head-on collision. Well, bumper is back. Well, someone, well, you get what I'm saying. Because if it's head-on for them, then it's your butt. Right? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But anyway, there's something about, yeah, something colliding and not in a good way. And, you know, like a big butt is like a mass. So something was a heavy loss for someone. It could be, it could have been a heavy loss for you. 
But let's pull some clarifiers. That was such an immature way to, to get to a point. Yeah, I told you they'd be immature. Magician. <laughs> Clarified is a knight of swords. The seven of swords in reverse. So yeah, you didn't want to argue with someone anymore. You didn't want to put up with some sort of um that's a word I could say disagreeableness. <laughs> it was something that you couldn't agree on or if you agree to disagree then that came with separation because the two of swords is the bottom of the deck and right under that is the two of cups in, in reverse so the seven of swords in reverse and the two of swords in reverse yeah that's like walking away from a battle again walking away from a battle eight of cups And the swords are clarifying more swords. So that is definitely a, a mental disagreement. Like I said, if you agree to disagree, then it came with separation. This is two strong minds that aren't willing to bend. So you and whoever else weren't willing to bend and that collision um, was not good. So I just feel like it resulted in the separation. But anything else? Um, more specific, damn, more swords. <clears throat> we have the world, six of swords, and ten of swords. So it was like the world, again, is speaking about more emotion. The world came in and kind of like, created a, a divider between you and whoever this person or group was. There's, I'm hearing there's something that couldn't be buried in the sand. So maybe an apology wasn't enough, Me, yeah. So for some of you, you could have received the apology. You could have, I don't know, they could, but then again, you know, people just be saying sorry just to say, you know, that don't mean their actions change. So you could have received an apology, but you're just like, yeah, no, that wasn't good enough. So like I said, spirit came in with a, a block, uh, a divider per se. And with the six of swords, again, more emotion because this person's on a boat. <clears throat> and it led you right into closing a cycle for good for good ten of swords so again more of that air energy head headstrong so if someone else could have been headstrong again with collision I'm getting like um rams or goats, like when they ran into each other. So someone else could have been very, very headstrong and that, that, wasn't, that wasn't working for you. Whatever it is, it's just very, you cannot see eye to eye at all. Okay, it's, it's way too many swords. We already started off with the knight, then we went from the, we went from nine to seven to the two to the six to the ten. Child, that's a whole lot of swords. Clarify. Ten of cups. I mean, not ten of cups. Whoa. Wow. So, yeah, ten of cups. Bottom of the deck was, was the eight of cups. It was really the eight of cups. But I said ten of cups. So you could have left. So you could have found your ten of cups. You left because you were unhappy your ten of cups was very very much so in reverse in um that situation so let me pull clarify the eight of cups <sighs> let 
more cups though. <laughs> so we have the queen of cups in reverse. So like I said, you were, and like I said, it was very much in reverse. You, you were dissatisfied with something. 10 times, I just looked at the clock. You were very dissatisfied with something, okay? Uh, there, there was no, I'm hearing this was no feel good situation. So nothing felt good, nothing. Usually when you hear a feel good story, it's like, like it, it's trying to invoke happy emotions, right? So I feel like nothing you did could invoke a happy emotion. Like it, it felt fake because all of these swords, it's like, it's very hard. It was hard for you. If you're, I don't know if you're in it, you left, you're currently in whatever. Take it how it resonates. It was very hard for you to invoke a fake smile. Very hard for you to invoke fake emotions because even if you try, like it'll show up on your face. <laughs> I'm seeing like, you know when people are like trying to smile, but you could tell like they're not happy. So it's like a weird looking grin. It, yeah, like something about you, it's it's. This could be you or the other person. Like, feelings are very hard to hide. So if you're upset, it's visible. If they're upset, it's visible. And it's also going to be verbalized, I feel, with these swords. Because swords represent communication, like I said. So we could be the eyes the energy, the body language, and it can also be the words. But like I said, something was just, it was hard for you to invoke this very fake happiness. Bottom of the deck is the emperor. So under, I mean, after the queen of cups in reverse is the emperor. So something, like I said, is hard to fake. Something that almost felt, uh, ty I'm hearing tyrannic, tyrannic, tyrannic. Tyrannic? Tyrannic. <laughs> it felt like someone was a tyrant. Okay? Yeah. It, it. But that's another thing with a tyrant. Like, especially when they have power. Sometimes, like, this emperor, if he's too big-headed, he expects people to fake the energy around him while still be at the ass. So you could have been dealing with that. This is an extreme example, not saying this is what you went through, but I'm just giving an extreme example, right? It's like those parents who are abusing their child and they're like, shut up and uh, smile. Learn how to smile. Be quiet. I don't know. Like, I be watching. Oh, I need to stop. But I be watching those, you know, like, true, true crime. Where those parents are really abusive. But they expect these children to put on this, this very hard to do fake smiles to the public. And if they don't, it's like. You know, it's, it's no good. A lot of mental warfare. All these swords. So, like I said, not to say that you're dealing with that. But the energy that you could have been dealing with was as such. Like, they're abusive. Mentally, verbally, spiritually, whatever. Financially. Yet they expect you to put a smile on your face. Okay, let's, let's, because this is a closer example, right? Let's deal with an ex. This could be an ex, right? You know those those kinds. Treat you horribly. Let's tell them how some way. Say you're ungrateful for what I'm doing. You don't appreciate what I do. You're never happy. You're always miserable. Meanwhile, they calling you names. 
they uh, like I said, financially abusing you, spiritually abusing you, mocking you, whatever. But because they pay one bill, because they might have uh, uh, taken you out to dinner that one time, you're supposed to walk around with a smile on your face. So for some of you, like I said, although we don't have the Ten of Cups, this is pretty much <laughs> the Ten of Cups because the Queen of Cups has all of the cups and the Ten is a number of completion. So all of your cups was in reverse with eight more. So it was like you were in a deficit, okay, with this person. You were in the negative with this person. So I just feel like um, yeah, some of you just, just, if you haven't already, it's time to go. It really is time to go. Someone's a tyrant. Someone is a little, not a little, <laughs> a lot abusive. In multiple forms. So that is the energy I see you walking away from collectively. And it took a while to get there. It took a while to get to this story, right? Because I'm like, okay, yeah, you're just walking away. But from what? From what? From what? And I feel like that was you. Like, I'm like, yeah, you had plenty of opportunity to, Again, with abusive situations, right? There's always plenty of opportunities to walk away, but it's almost like there's a guilt. Like, well, why would I walk away if only this happened? If only that happened? If only this happened? And then they made it up to me. They apologized. They did this. So I feel like that's the energy you are dealing with. And this doesn't have to be an intimate relationship. You know, this could be like a workplace abuse. Like, you know, a workplace can abuse their employees, like promising raises. And for months and months, yeah, we're going to raise. We're going we're gonna to give you a raise. We're going to give you a raise. We're going to give you a raise. Time comes. Oh, well, that was just, you know, um, our good nature we didn't really have to do this so like honestly we can't really afford it so you guys shouldn't even be complaining anyway we still provide this for you we still provide uh this new desktop for you <laughs> you know what i mean so workplaces can abuse their employees too and you people can stay and stay and stay and stay because there's an incentive there's something attached right there's always something good in an abusive situation as to why people stay. So I feel like you were searching for the why, 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 and then you found the why, 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 and you said bye, 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 bye. <laughs> yeah. All right. you, you did the dance and everything. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, I'm going to leave that there with the, the tarot. Okay, to hell with that. Bottom of the deck. Well, I mean, it wasn't really bottom of the deck. But here, to hell, you know, with that. Because Queen of Pentacles, you wanted to go on to, um, I'm hearing something more fertile. You know, I almost wanted to mix the words futile and fertile. So yeah, you left a futile situation so you could be more fertile somewhere else. So, or cow, and we're gonna close this out for you. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, damn. Flew right out. Hold on, but it flew under the table. Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion, which was not done. <laughs> okay, so like I said, with all of these swords, something was just not solvable. There was no solution. I mean, there was a solution. Separation, right? <laughs> 
So it couldn't, something could not be seen with compassion. So the ideal solution was separation. But like I said, this situation gave a tyrant. It gave someone who was a jerk, who was abusive. So like I said, someone's point of view was not viewed with compassion, with love, with healing. You see how this person is like kind of over her? I feel like because this is in the negative, of course, Oracle cards are not going to give you a lot of it. The, the negative stuff is going to be fluffy. Imagine like you crying. This person is over you like, the fuck you crying for? You're such a baby. Get over it. Like imagine if that's what she was saying to try to comfort the person. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And that's what that's what happened there. I feel like you were dealing with that type of energy. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super intimate, intimate, but it could be, but it could be like a work situation or something like that where you just realize this is abusive and this is not what I'm dealing with. This is not what I want to deal with for long term. So yeah, when you left, when you got the fuck away, okay? Well, there you go. There's a horse, all right? Didn't I say? Usually it's like a, a horse or a, <laughs> or a motorcycle. So there we go. We got the horse. When you left or when you leave, I think how it resonates, we're going to have Omega, victory. Your desire is coming to, yeah, your, de your, de your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So, yeah. But yeah, I just feel like this one, like someone was just looking over you while, this is just abusive, okay? I don't like it. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to book a personal, all that's down below. Oh, wait, did I say I hope you enjoyed? No, I didn't. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>